The online dating industry itself is big business, with revenues for websites and apps uh, now reportedly worth two billion a year worldwide. Um, the UK alone apparently produces 1,500 of UK's, uh, of Europe's rather, 5,000 websites and apps. In New York, there's a shortage apparently of 150,000 straight guys, mm -hmm. which means that men, men over there settle down later than men, say, growing up in, in rural Virginia. Mm -hmm. Because when, you know, if we can get away with it, we will. So men are looking for the mother of their child. So for them, what they're looking for is they're looking for signs of fertility. They're looking for someone with, who's quite curvy because curviness is a really good sign of fertility. It's a good sign of circulating oestrogen. So the ideal waist hip ratio, ladies, you can go and measure yourselves, is 0.7. A woman, because she's basically going to be bearing these children, she needs somebody who, in the Stone Age, was going to protect her from that saber-toothed tiger. So she needs someone who's going to protect and provide. So boys, the ideal shoulder-waist ratio is 1.6. So that's your classic triangle, because that shows high testosterone, very athletic, you can wrestle a bear to the ground, basically. <laughs> But I think men are quite good at being on a date thinking, well, I'm not going to marry her. I don't like her hips. Um, <laughs> not that I'd noticed that I'd ever looked at them, but, um, <laughs> but I might get laid. Oh, yeah. So I think men are quite good at kind of clicking between those two modes of, yeah. oh, I'm looking for the mother of my children. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting laid. And it's, it's pretty normal to use several apps. Um, but then they will be careful about which ones they use because some apps have an image of being more of hookup apps, whereas other ones mm -hmm. are a bit more, more serious or a bit... Uh, more to focus towards finding relationship or love. What actually I think is a very modern phenomenon is the idea that it's going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And you've got Tinder where, you know, you can carry on swiping till you find the perfect, you know. As soon as it becomes maybe a little bit tricky, some people tend to think, well, I know there's more out there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and find it. So I think it's a modern phenomenon. You know, actually, the divorce rate is going down right. and marriages are going up again. When I was first dating on Tinder, I met this guy and we met up and he's now a really good friend of mine. And I remember really early on saying, this person in these messages is completely different to the, to the guy I know. And he said, you were just a photo on my screen, you know, amongst loads of other photos. He said, I genuinely forgot that you were a person when I was talking to you. Mm -hmm. We've been speaking a lot about Tinder, for example, about the fact that you have endless swipes, but the fact that it's more of a game. Um, and I think people want to, when they're looking for to, to date with someone or if they're looking for a relationship, they want, don't want to see it as a game, they want to see it as uh, a human be, a human being behind the picture. Um, so we're, we need to go you know, further away from those games and to remind people that uh, this is someone that exists, this is someone you can speak to, um, and in order to do that, you should meet.